This is a First Alert Weather Special Report. Morning, everybody. Uh, John Elliott here in the Weather Center for a special live report on CBS News New York. We appreciate you spending some time with us on this Sunday morning. A review. Everybody's under a flood watch through the day into tonight. Another review. This may be new to you. The National Weather Service has posted a tornado watch for Putnam, Westchester points east and Long Island. This is in effect until 3 p.m. A tornado watch means conditions are favorable for the formation of tornadoes. We do not have any active tornado warnings right now. However, if you're watching CBS News New York from Philadelphia, and we know some of you do, there is a warning around Philadelphia. In our area, the flood warnings, the flash flood warnings, and every word is so important, Sussex Warren until, uh, well, Sussex Warren and parts of Hunterton, these are going to be expiring soon. This is another one that's in effect until 11. See how they kind of just kind of work through the area? This is a warning, and I know if you're watching right now in this parts of Westchester or Fairfield, you're saying, well, wait a minute, the rain has really started to slow down. True, they go through, but remember, the water levels can still rise. Really, uh, probably the most germane is this flash flood warning that's in effect until 11.30 in Suffolk, and that's where it really is still pouring. So let's go to live radar, and you can see the brighter colors indicating that heavier rain for now parts of eastern Connecticut and then over the sound into Suffolk. You're saying, well, man, Westchester's getting a break, but more will fill in. Look at it's raining in Brooklyn, a pretty heavy rain in Brooklyn right now. So this is basically bisecting Suffolk County. We have seen quite a bit of lightning with this as well. Over the sound right there along the Merritt into uh, parts of Connecticut as well. That is going to be an issue. Now, as we move in closer to the city, and for some reason, Matt, you go ahead and advance me because this thing is acting up. We are seeing some more rain into parts of Brooklyn right now, and that's just going to push through Queens and up into the Bronx as well. Expand that view. Watch what happens. This all starts to fill in. So we've seen more of a break for Monmouth County, but that's going to fill in. A lot of lightning affiliated with that. That, by the way, is that warning around Philadelphia. So we're going to be watching, well, Somerset county as well timestamp top of your viewing device screen let's walk through it so we just had a meeting in the weather center about the new york mets will they play will they not play so i mean more than the weather is going into that decision with the opponent being the dodgers but around game time it's wet into the afternoon it's still wet and this is another round the models are pushing the heavier rain into the afternoon into more of Long Island. But then this is some good news. We are seeing a break and this. We were picking up on this early this morning with these model runs. It looks like the bulk of the rain is pushing off to the east. And then it's relatively quiet overnight into the first part of your Monday. Just want to give you a quick reminder. The biggest risk is going to be the heavy rain. And that definitely has been playing out. We've got multiple reports of two to three to close to six inches of rain. That's Doppler indicated rain where it aggregates the data. So we'll wait to see when it's all said and done. And gusty winds have been an issue as well. Can't rule out the risk of hail and uh, tornadoes as well, isolated tornadoes. Just make sure you're watching street, uh, the uh, creeks and streams are already just swollen. So much of that is because of the five to over 10 inches of rain parts of the area have seen and any additional rain is going to lead to just a real rapid rise in some of that water so just make sure that you're doing the right thing 82 today isolated showers continue strong downpours possible and we could even see some severe weather and then it's going to be quite a bit warmer into the first part of the week in fact tomorrow real field numbers even in the city could be at 95 degrees and then for the rest of the work week, challenging in that it's, you know, we're going to be dealing with leftover humidity, isolated thunderstorm Tuesday, midweek break, make some plans, another chance Thursday into Friday. But don't forget, it is a red alert today. We're going to be here. We're going to be doing live updates as needed, at least every hour. And then again, we'll have more of your forecast and more of the news you've come to expect from CBS News New York.